benvenuti alla esposizione Mangasia, Wonderlands of Asian Comics, here at the Palazzo delle Esposizioni in Rome. The world premiere of the first exhibition to explore the diversity and dynamism of comics from across the whole of Asia. Mangasia is half manga, comics from Japan, and the other half comics from across other countries in, a, in Asia, China, India, the Philippines, Indonesia, Vietnam, Cambodia, even little tiny Bhutan and Sri Lanka. This is the first time we've, that, that anyone has tried to present the, the full spectrum of creativity of Asian comics. Um, and the exhibition is starting in, here in Rome, but will then tour for up to five years worldwide. My name is Paul Gravet and I'm the curator of Mangasia. And this exhibition has been developing since 2014. It began as a book and research. And I've worked with a team of experts and contacts across Asia, six or seven of them in Japan, and then many others in other countries, to find the most interesting comics to show to you. The project is essentially divided into six sections, six thematic sections, so rather than having one section on Japan, one section on China, you can see all of the different versions of that theme in one section by section. And we go from a general broad mapping of Asian comics through to the incredible folklore and supernatural myths that are told through Asian comics. Then we have a section looking at history and how that's been expressed and explored in the comics of Asia. And then the section we're in right here is looking at the life and struggle and work of the comic artist. How she or he can make a living, the struggles of making new pages, new stories, sometimes every day of the week. It's not an easy life being a manga or comic artist. The last two sections look at censorship, sexuality, violence in comics, the controversy that sometimes has arisen from that. And we close with a multimedia section which travels everywhere from the big movie and anime adaptations of comics from all over Asia through to new developments in fine art and digital technology. There's never been an exhibition really that spanned almost two centuries of Asian comics the way that this exhibition does at Palais Expo in Rome. For many people it's a dream to work in the manga industry. The industry in Japan is the biggest in the world. It is the Godzilla of comics. This manga is Weekly Shonen Jump. At one point it, was sell it sold in one week over 6.5 million copies. Nowhere else on the planet has any comic magazine ever sold so many. The story on the cover here is called Bakuman. It's a story about a, two guys who want to break into the manga industry. Their dream of actually being published in this very magazine. It's almost a kind of training course in how to do it, a guide as to how to, what you have to do, the amount of work and effort you have to put into making comics. Comics is a demanding art form, but artists are continually innovating and experimenting. The art form is, has an incredible future ahead of it. Come and discover what's been made already here at Palacio de la Exposición in Mangasia, Wonderlands of Asian Comics.